Monday morning. Yep. We're all just about to leave to go back home, first of all. Tyson Fury, how are you feeling? I'm all good, mate, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, just to go back to the other night, just obviously you've had just over, what, 24, 36 hours to maybe digest it, but what did you think of your own performance from Saturday? It wasn't uh, the best performance, but I'm not going to make any excuses. I had a good camp. Um, there was no one to blame or no one to do anything. It was a tough fight. I had to get off the floor to win. And, um, yeah, no excuses. But in terms of yourself and what people are, are used to seeing you perform, yeah, yeah, yeah. in terms of that, how did you see it? Did you see it was a below-par performance from yourself? Yeah, it was a below-par performance, but take nothing away from the other man. You're only as good as your opponent will let you be. That's a fact. Do you think at some points, obviously, it was drummed into you throughout the whole build-up that basically you couldn't lose to this man? No, no, no. I didn't train for a fight. Like you that. didn't say that, but I'm I just saying... that one time, did I? You didn't say that, but it was being drummed into you. Like, we yeah, interviewed... That, like, that's, what you, that's what happens when... If, if I have listened to the media and all the so-called boxing experts, oh, it's an easy fight, it's a mismatch, it's not worth watching then it, it, I wouldn't have uh, wouldn't been able to win that fight. So you're not, you, you, are you saying that you didn't underestimate Francis at all? No, nope. didn't underestimate him. I, trailed for tra uh, 12. I trained for 12 weeks, give it the best uh, preparation I could have done, and that's it. Would you say he was better than what you thought he was? Uh, we didn't know how good he was or how bad he was. There was no, no footage of him. Never seen a man fight before as a boxer, and that was it. So he was a lot more awkward than I thought he'd be. And he wasn't walking on to me, and he, he was just he was just an awkward man. He was good at what he was doing, so fair play to him. Make, uh, don't take anything away from him. He gave me a better fight than all the boxers did in the last 10 years. I think that's been my toughest fight I've had for years. Let's go to that, that third round, because obviously the whole... Not so much my toughest fight yeah. for years, but maybe he, he won the 10-8 round and he maybe won one other round. But other than that, I was just, box, just boxing him and he couldn't really close the distance down on me, so... At points it was tough, but not so much the other way. We have seen you over uh, uh, two different fights, well, three different fights of, of you going down and then obviously getting back up, etc. But that seems to have kind of stunned the arena when yeah. you were dropped in that in that third round, a shot that seemed to be to the side, to the back yeah. of the head. Um, yeah, talk me through that. What, what you remember of that? I didn't remember anything. I just, I just got a little bit greedy. I hit him with a one-two down the pipe, clean, and I went jump back in for another one-two. And he got me on the way out. That was it. There's nothing, there's, there's no who to blame. Blame me. There's no blame the trainer, the blame, blame the, uh, the, the manager, blame the cup man. Blame me if you're going to blame anybody. You know, it, it was what it was. It's a fight game. It's not tap dancing. You go in there, you have a fight, and that's it. You get out of there, you get paid. The good thing is, I've got paid, I'm going home to my family, and we go on to the next undisputed fight, so happy days. Why are people quick to do this? I remember after Joshua lost to Usek, everyone was pinning this reason. The ring walk wasn't right and he was looking to the left and not the right before and all this. No, no, but why do people do that? There's an excuse on why, why, why. There is no excuses. You're in there on the night. I've done the best I could. That's it. There is no, um, there's no excuses. Oh, I didn't perform well because uh, I didn't tie my shoelaces in a certain manner. Listen, it was what it was. It was a tough fight. It was a, it was a good game man and that was it there was nothing there's nothing else I can say about it he was uh, he was a good fella and I done my best and that was it I won the fight and out we go on to the next one I've been paid been laid and we go home now that's it how do you um, describe his power um, he was what he was he was a, he was a strong puncher um, and that was it there was no describing powers or anything it's a boxing fight you don't feel it when you're in there do you see an argument for a case that some people think that he won the fight. Do you see that argument? Um, no, I'm not a boxing judge, but I can clearly see he didn't win the fight by the punch stats. And if he would have won the fight, they'd give it him, wouldn't they? It wasn't my own show, was it? We're both away fighters on um, whatever. Would he give people, if he was to pursue this uh, career in boxing, Francis, in your opinion, does, would he give people problems and, and beat legitimate top heavyweights? I don't know. Listen, he gave me a problem, so... You can only take for people who they are on the night, that's it. Tyson, in regards to December 23rd, um, what, what is the situation? I know it's very early on, obviously, after yeah, the weekend, I don't but know, mate. I don't know when as far as you know. Or anything like that. They're going to sort it out. Whenever they sort it out, we'll have another fight.
until then, happy days. Because it doesn't seem to make much sense for you to fight on December 23rd. Why is that? I don't know, because the fight didn't go... It went the distance, for example. I don't know about your eye situation. No, you was cut, so... I'd... I ain't cut. Are you not? No. Look. Okay. Can you see any cuts? I got a little bit of a graze on my forehead there. But look, I'm not caught. Okay. There's a little bit of grazing, nothing. So, if it had to be the 23rd, which is, what, seven, eight weeks away, then that'd be the case. I know it's nothing been, like, concrete decided yet. They'll sort it out when they sort it out. Until that day, I'm not interested. I told you this before. Don't bother me about boxing after this fight. I'm going home. I'm going to have a break. I'm going to spend some time with my kids. I've been away for 12 weeks. I've had a newborn baby I've seen three times. He's six weeks old already. So, yeah. But there's, there's nothing... Um, all these boxing things and whatever else I've got. To, I've done my job. I've been paid. Happy days. I'm on to the next one now. I'll get paid for that one and on to the next one after that. Nothing more to be said. But as far as you're concerned, you're fighting Usyk next. Whenever that is, that's the yeah, case. Listen, End the story. I'm playing Usyk next. We both signed the contract. Whenever that is, it is. And whenever it's not, it's not. And that's it. No biggie. Um, how do you sum up your experience here in Saudi Arabia? I've said it a million times in a million different interviews. One of the best treatments we've ever had, all the way through, before and after the event. Even last night we went to the mall, we had a police escort, uh, people waiting for us the whole time. It was unbelievable. The, um, the Saudis have um, pushed the boat out for us. They, they've looked after us like egg in a cake. They couldn't have done any more. Big shout out to Turkey El Sheikh and all of the team. And big shout out to MBS for making this event, event possible. Um, you know, it was great. It was great. We've all had a fantastic time here in Saudi Arabia. The experience of it all was fantastic. We met all them boxers and all the great footballers and everybody the night before the fight, which was fantastic. And it was a, it was an amazing, amazing experience. And uh, next time it'll be that much better again because this was the first time they put a show on. And uh, yeah, I'm expecting it to be a little bit better next time as well. It seemed pretty surreal the whole week, like with the events going on, who was around all in the same room yeah. and Ronaldo and Eminem and all, that's just two of the people that were there. But Ronaldo and Ronaldo and Figo. Yeah, the two Ronaldos and Figo. But did yeah. it see, seem that... Kanye West. West. Yeah. There were so many people. Gregor. Yeah, yeah it was like so many people there. It was unbelievable. But did that feel surreal to you? But it's not really to you, is it? You don't really look into that like that, do you? No, listen, I'm here to do a fight and that's all I was, all, all I was here to do. OK, well, listen, I do know you're on your way out of here soon. No, Have you got a closing message for people watching back home, people who, who travelled to Saudi to watch you, whoever? Yeah, whoever travelled out. I hope you've enjoyed the fight, give you all a little bit of a scare again. And uh, that's it, we're on to the next one, whenever that is, for the undisputed uh, title. Not that it'll mean much to me, but whatever. Everyone else, it means a lot to them. So, yeah, happy days. We've got Usyk next, and that's it, fight of the century. Two undefeated um, heavyweight champions. Battle it out.